Today is a very important day for the church and its people. We celebrate the feast day of one of the most popular saints, perhaps even one of the most well-known saints by other denominations as well. Our saint that we are going to look at today left the faith but came back after years of prayer by his mother and a holy call from God, the doctor of the church and the bishop of Hippo, St. Augustine. St. Augustine was born in Tagaste, North Africa, November 13, 354, to Monica and Patrick. Monica is also a saint whom we talked about yesterday. She is a great role model if you are looking to work harder on your prayer life. Augustine went off to study in Carthage and left his faith there. He found temporary pleasures in the things of this world, in drinking, sex, and frivolous activity. Augustine became a Manichaean, a religious sect that found imperfection in the human body to be a good thing, but the Manichaeans also had a very, very relaxed moral code. This was the life that Augustine led until he met Bishop Ambrose, a man who just jumped into Augustine's life. This man came to Augustine because of the prayers of his own mother, Monica. Monica was praying her whole for many, many years for someone to come into Augustine's life to turn him around. One fateful day after years of prayer by Monica and after consuming the truth from St. Ambrose's direction, Augustine saw that the Christian religion was the true religion, but he couldn't bring himself to be baptized because he felt that his previous life in sin was far too great to be, in, to be forgiven by Jesus. Augustine was praying under a tree one day when suddenly he heard a child singing a song from his childhood but with different words. The lyrics he heard were, take up and read, take up and read. Seeing this as a potential sign from God, Augustine opened his Bible and read a verse from Romans chapter 13, where Paul state, states that we should put away all impurity and live in imitation of Jesus. This moment was Augustine's true baptism, because he felt the Holy Spirit calling him with every fiber in his being to go back to Christ's arms. Augustine was soon baptized, became a priest, and later became a bishop. He led as the Bishop of, Hi of Hippo from 396 until his death. There is just so much that we can learn from St. Augustine. After all, he is probably the most prolific Catholic writer of all time. He is the most cited source other than the biblical authors in the Catechism. St. Augustine's conversion story gives us a witness that no matter how lost or abandoned somebody goes, there is more than enough grace to return to the church. Jesus loves us. He wants to be in relationship with each of us. Augustine learned this later in life and gave his life to Jesus and found true happiness. I challenge, I challenge you to share this story, to share St. Augustine's conversion with a friend who does not yet know Christ. And there's one more thing. If you want to learn more about St. Augustine, he wrote a very famous piece of literature called Confessions and another piece of literature called The City of God. Here's an ec excerpt from Confessions. Too late have I loved you, O beauty of ancient days, yet ever new, too late I loved you, and behold you were within, and I abroad, and there I searched for you, I was deformed, plunging amid those fair forms which you had made, you were with me, but I was not with you, things held me far from you, things which, if they were not in you, were not at all. You called and shouted and burst my deafness. You flashed and shone and scattered my blindness. You breathed odors and I drew in breath and I pant for you. I tasted and I hungered and I thirst. You touched me and I burned for your peace.